Hello everyone. I thought I would do a quick pop-up live. I received a box of Stampin' Up! goodies today and in that box was a brand new photopolymer stamp set and so I thought that I would quickly go on and show you how I prepare my photopolymer stamp sets for use. So let's go ahead and I'll put you down to my workspace and we'll get started. Right. So happy you could join me. So let's go ahead. Give me just one second and I'll bring up the comments on my laptop and then we'll get started. Do that real quick. Let's see if anyone's jumped. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? Okay. Let's see here. I can get this up and going. Okay. One second. Anyone else? Hello, Laura. So glad you could join me. If you missed the very beginning, I'm going to um, show you how I prepare my stamps for uh, brand new for use. Okay, I've got the comments up. All right, so uh, today I received this Heartfelt Hexagon Bundle. This is the World Card Making Day Bundle. So I'm going to show you with photopolymer stamp sets how I start these. So when I first get my stamp set, I pull out the photopolymer and I remove the thinner backing piece. And then I take my Simply Chamois and give them all a good clean. That just takes any residue off of the stamp so that I can get a better image. Now I do this especially with those uh, photopolymer images that have um, uh, words. Sorry, the words are escaping me. So I'm going to just take some blueberry bushel ink. I've got a five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock. This is not Stampin' Up! cardstock. Uh, you could use copy paper or anything that you have on hand. This just happens to be um, some other cardstock that I have on hand. And I'm going to take and ink this up. And I'm just going to lay it flat down. I don't put it on anything. Just like this. I'm just going to lay it down on my surface and I'm going to ink that up with the ink. Okay. And then I'm going to flip this over holding the plastic sheet. Set it down without trying to move it too much. Then I'm going to grab a uh, clear block and while I hold one end I'm going to rub with the clear block on the other, okay, just to make sure that I get a good impression. And let's close up our ink pad. Carefully lift that up. And now I've done two things. I'm going to set this aside on my Simply Chamois so that I can clean it. I need to do that. What I've done with this is I've given my, I've tested all of the stamps to see how they're stamping so I know if there's a problem with the image itself. And I've given myself the wording in the correct orientation. And then I'll trim this down using my Stampin' Trimmer because I'm going to put this in my stamp case and it can't be bigger than five and a half by seven. Okay, so I've got that done. I'm going to clean off my 
stamps now. Let me go back and clean these off. Okay, so I've got those all cleaned now. Now I'll take my clear backing sheet and I'm going to put it back on top of my stamps. And you will notice with the new stamp cases, where did I set that new stamp case? Oh my goodness. How did I set it aside where I can't find it now? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, I put my simply chamois on top of it. With the new stamp cases, they Okay, so sorry about that. I had a timer set, I forgot, and it just went off. Okay, so you see how these are backwards? So by taking this and stamping it now, I can add this to the inside of my stamp case so that I don't have to try and read all this stuff backwards. It's a mirror image. I know that if I want to get sending you lots of love and hugs, I just need to go right here, and that'll be the correct stamp. So I'm going to take a little bit of stamp and seal and put that on the back of my index and I'm going to set this in here like so and give that a press and then with my stamps some people like to put take this off and put your stamp directly on the case. I don't like to do that. I don't think they stick as well. So with the hard plastic side, I'll turn that upside down so that I can read all of the images. And then I'm gonna take some tear and tape. And put that down. On these size stamps, I, I like to use four strips but you could do three you could do two whatever whatever you like I like four so that I get a more secure hold and then I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm going to burnish that down so that I can get the wax paper backing off easier and with my take your pick tool I'll pick up those wax paper backings And then we're going to put this inside our case. So I'm just going to bring my case back in and set this down so that they go right over the top. And then I'll give that a good press. And I'll hold my hand inside the case and take my bone folder and press that in some more. And then if I've got a bigger stamp like this that's covering the tear and tape, I'll just take my lift that up and take my bone folder and give that a good burnish. Okay. And now my new stamps are ready to use. I can easily read my sentiments so that if I want to look for it with sincere sympathy, I know that I'm gonna go opposite. This one's gonna be the with sincere sympathy. I can pull it out, put it on my clear block, which I like to line it up straight here. And now this is ready to stamp and I'm good to go, okay? So just a quick tip for you on what I do with my photopolymer stamps to make it easier for me to read the sentiments when they're backwards on the right-hand side, then I've got them in the correct orientation on the left. Okay, well, I hope you find this, ho this helpful, and um, I will see you back here next week. Good night.